I don't know if you could beat it, man. Just enough ice for a snowmobile, the whole lake to myself, and an absolute pile of angry walleyes. Got him right there. Couple of fish down there. Got him right there. You guys see that? Look at that, dude. Wow. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Look at that. Beautiful walleyes, man. We are catching them. What is going on, guys? Early in the morning. Sun is not even up yet. Nice and dark, nice and early. We're sitting on the shore of a lake in which we're gonna walleye fish today. How exciting is that? And uh, day before yesterday, I filmed a video on a new body water I've never ice fished. Mitch had to go home and edit. I drove through a blizzard, took me forever. Roads were super bad. Got here to where I am sitting right now yesterday, about midday, and I checked probably like seven, eight miles of ice. Got to where I wanted to fish, and I broke my DeWalt drill. So um, it was good for about four or 5,000 holes over the course of multiple years, but had to drive an hour back into town, get a new drill to replace the one I broke. Somehow I did not have a spare with me, believe it or not. And uh, now we're sitting where we're currently sitting. So after running around yesterday, I am eager to fish. Now, if you're an ice fishing guy and you're gonna take a machine out on unchecked ice, that you know it's not like some resort telling you okay yeah there's a safe ice out here if you're going to do all this stuff by yourself arguably one of the most important tools you can have with you is this right here a good gps map and saving your trails so that when i start running out here today i know that i can follow my old track i've waypointed where i have um, cracks and things like that because don't ever assume that because it's six inches here, it's going to be six inches over there, right? And these cracks will move overnight too. So I know that when I'm coming up to one of my waypoints, I got to get out and check that crack to make sure it hasn't shifted from yesterday. So saving your trails on GPS, so unbelievably important. A lot of times ice safety is all about what happens when you fall through the ice, but arguably ice safety starts by not falling through the ice, ideally. So we checked ice for half a day yesterday, and now we get to run around and catch some fish. So let's fire up the old skidoo. Oh, oh, oh. Now let's go catch some fish. All right, we made it. Oh, it feels good too. It's not as windy as I thought. And the best part about this spot is I did not see a human yesterday I saw one guy actually walking off the lake but we're about five miles from there right now oh none of the cracks moved which is always good and we're back so oh we got camera flipping over so generally what i like to do when i'm on these walleye spots or when i'm going to be you know spending a bunch of time on one spot especially at like a prime time hour like this we'll get the shack we'll get the eskimo flipped up but i want to get all of the noise i'm going to make on this spot over before it's light out so I want to drill all my big spread of holes. I want to get the shack popped up, get everything in place so that when it's time to start fishing, I'm not like, oh, I want to go drill more holes over here now. I want to go drill more holes over there. So we're going to drill a big spread of holes here so we can kind of hop through um, and hopefully catch some fish. So that's the plan. All right, time to get things going. We'll be fishing two rods. One aggressive jigging bait, and uh, that's gonna have the Acme Hyper Rattle on it in that middle size. Not the two smaller ones, not the biggest one, but that second biggest size. Big aggressive bait in one hole, and we're gonna be fishing both these on the Humminbird Mega Live. And on the other rod, I'm gonna fish just something a little bit more subtle. The eighth ounce, uh, this is a Tungsten Castmaster. And there is no way, right? We already got something going on here. Look at this. Is that a perch? I might have a perch down there. It's a good sign though that there is already life here. But on the other rod, we're gonna fish that eighth ounce cast master and just gonna tip that with a minnow head. So even if they don't want the big aggressive thing, it's kind of like fishing a dead stick, except a lot of times I've noticed fish prefer to bite a jigging presentation. But if it does look like they do want the live bait option, we do have dead sticking things with as well so both were baits are purple color fish in relatively clear water today and that's kind of the that's kind of the game plan so now we basically sit here 
let's see what happens. Now, obviously, if I sit here for like 30 minutes and I'm just not seeing anything happen, probably going to uh, move spots. But for now, that there's already some perch down there, we'll camp it out. Got him right there. Fish out number one of the day. What do we got? Walleye or perch? Oh, nah, nice walleye. Nice walleye. There we go. Well, I was just drinking the last of my morning coffee, and uh, he absolutely came in and annihilated that hyper rattle. It's probably been about 15 minutes since I turned the camera on, starting to get light out, and that is the attitude we want them to have right there. If I can fish them all day on a big heavy bait like this, I mean, that is perfect with me. Probably a, I don't know, chunky 18er to get the day rolling. We'll take that, man. It has not been long. I actually marked one other one. It's just moving real slow though, right as it was getting light out. Built super good. Absolutely love these fish you get out of clear water that are just real gold like that. Beauty, man. See you later, buddy. Oh man, look at this. Holy cow. You guys see that? There's another one down there as I was letting this one go. But he kind of got squirrely watching that other walleye swim down. And you'll see that a lot. You'll sit here, sit here, sit here, and all of a sudden, ding, 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 you know, three, four of them will show up. Kind of all at the same time. Good sign, though. You guys see that one? I'll try to get you some audio. That one absolutely just flew in. Almost couldn't even get the the GoPro on. Having some GoPro issues. So I'm not even sure how much audio we got here. Oh yeah, nice walleye. Nice walleye right there. <laughs> well, that's the attitude you want them to have, huh? They just absolutely fly up like that. I apologize if this audio is complete crap. I don't know. Having a little bit of camera issues, which is known to happen. There we go, dude. Beautiful all. I like when they're eating baits like that. I'll bet you guys. I didn't even have time to like react after I saw them. Beautiful walleye right there, man. We'll take a pile of those, huh? That is what I'm talking about. Nice lean. Probably 20 inch fish there. See you later, buddy. There we go. Oh, she's ready to get that down. That is what I like to see. A lot of times you can kind of gauge fish by how they're reacting and stuff, and sometimes they don't even let you do anything. You're just kind of ripping that spoon. One good reason, even when you're not seeing fish, be doing some big calling thing, right? That's what gets those fish in from a distance, especially on a clear lake like this, where these fish can see a long ways. Kind of working that bait gives those fish something to key in on from the distance, and obviously they do something like that to it. Eat it. The pike. Is he gonna go over and eat the minnow? He's looking at it. Got him right there. You guys see that? Man, was that cool. This is feeling like a really nice fish too. There was a pike down there and whatever this was, which looked like a walleye. Man, we are on some cool stuff. Oh yeah, real nice walleye here. Oh, oh, come on. That, that down view is pretty cool with the, with the aqua view, isn't it? Come on, bud. Oh yeah, look at that. 
that is a chunker man that is a chunker look at that guy that is what i'm talking about right there wow that is cool we got so much stuff going on in here right now i don't even know what screen to look at i'm constantly looking at the cameras to make sure everything's rolling looking at the live looking at this and dude we are <laughs> this is a lot of fun it's almost too much stuff going on for me too many screens to look at but hey we are catching fish hopefully you guys are enjoying watching this as well because this is a definitely a cool way to fish i would say look at that guy huh let's let that guy go that is awesome too cool i gotta send a video to mitchell because he'll never believe i'm actually recording all these things at the same time see you later buddy back down she goes let's do that again that was fun huh i like that and because we're in kind of this little multi-species thing going on i mean there was I just caught a perch there was a pike down there caught a walleye just going to the one bait that will for sure catch everything that is just that eighth ounce um rattle master we'll probably switch out between that and the tungsten version if we feel like it but that bait will catch perch crappies walleyes pike a little bit of everything and all i do is put that little blade on there on a lot of these spoons in case my minnow head falls off it's also just something extra to clank around on the bottom Oh yeah, here we go. Got him. Right there. Man, that was a strange bite, huh? He just came up and wanted to run away with it. We probably got a 16, 17er type of walleye. Oh yeah. There we go. <laughs> oh man, it is seriously too much to watch going on. My eyes are like going from here to here to here. But there we go. Nice walleye right there if you're going to keep one. He is the smallest one so far, but hey, we'll take them all. Fishing just absolutely gin clear water and catching fish doing it, man. See you later, buddy. Hopefully, you guys liked watching that bite. He kind of came in from this side and kind of hooked up to it. And uh, I was like, oh, he's going to pound it. He's going to pound it. And he just like ran away with it, just kissed it and started going down. And my rod just loaded up. Oh, here's the deal. Been sitting here for about 30 minutes. The sun is now up. Have not marked anything since. So we're kind of sitting on the top edge of this little thing. There's a deeper saddle that runs out over here. So what we're probably going to do is just go run over there and fish some of those holes that I fished this morning. Or if I have to drill more, drill more. Whenever you get on a bunch of fish, like right away in the morning, and then you kind of lose them, you're probably still close to those fish, right? If you were catching them on the top of something, they're probably on some connected piece of structure tailing off of that main piece. So that's what we're going to do. And also on top of that, I get bored sitting in the shack. I just feel like I'm confined. So we're going to get outside in the cold. It's probably, I don't know, it's like eight or nine degrees out today. Not very warm out. A little breeze picking up now. And we're going to do the run around hole hop. I'm going to leave the shack all set up here because likely I'll just jump right back in here at, you know, this afternoon. So stay tuned. That's the plan. Are you gonna have a jumbo perch on here or a walleye? I kinda think we probably got a real big jumbo on. There's a few of them down there. I don't know, man. This has gotta be a walleye, right? If it's a perch, it's gonna be a gargantuan one. Oh yeah, nice walleye, nice walleye. There we go. Well, there's a few of them down there hunting around, as you guys could see there. Nice fish. All right, all it took for that get back around fish was just kind of like we said was just slide out on one of these extensions there we go nice walleye right there man no complaints with those we'll let them go we are catching some serious fish today i'm gonna get back back down there though because obviously there's a few of them a little wolf pack of them hunting around anytime clear water 
<laughs> this might be my one of my absolute favorite spoons right there. The purple cast master. This one's a rattling cast master. Fish this one in this this kind of just regular lead one and then in the straight tungsten. Spend a lot of time fishing those two baits and bodies of water like this. Early in the morning, late in the day, a lot of times I'll go to the super aggressive stuff, but midday it's hard to beat this bait. And we'll kind of show you guys a graph screenshot here to kind of give you some idea on kind of where we were, where we are now, kind of showcase the piece of structure we're on. So you can see my shack's kind of way over there. Maybe you guys can't see it, I don't know. But basically the spot we're on, where I was set up this morning, is right here, right on top of this thing. Just kind of on that knob that runs out like this, 17, 18 feet of water. Now, where I've moved to this time of day, a lot of times spots like this, right here, is what you're gonna see. The spot we're on is just a, a little tail that runs off it, right here, in a little bit deeper water. Another good looking one might be like this right here. How you can see it kind of flattens out and there's just a high spot before it breaks out. A lot of times, middle of the day, those are the kind of spots that we're hunting around to kind of find a bunch of these fish. A lot of times they'll just slide just off of it and they won't get out into the basin. Some of them will, but a lot of them will just kind of sit on some kind of, look at this right here. I don't know if this is good walleye or if it's gonna bite or not, but sit on some of these little point extensions just in a little bit deeper water. I don't know if we got walleye here or perch. <laughs> My gloves halfway on. Are we gonna get them? And that's about, I don't even know if I restarted the flasher cam or not, but a lot of times it just takes a little move like that to catch fish. You know, it's not like we move spots. We just kind of got into this one so tangled in the transducer. It's absolutely ridiculous here. We should, by all means, we should lose this fish. Yeah, there he is. He's stuck in the hole. My bait is not on anymore. Should I grab him? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> I made a nice walleye there though. We'll take that, huh? We're definitely on some fish now. And now the question is, do we just go get the shack? Look at this, there's another one down there, dude. I mean, there's just a pile of them right here right now. It's crazy. We're gonna go no bait on, and just hopefully get one to eat the spinner blade. But those little moves often pay off. Big moves to find fish, small moves to stay around them is generally what you say. It's the old cliche comment of the day. Got him right there. A couple of fish down there, as you guys could see. I was literally just getting ready to make some lunch. Man, that fish absolutely smoked it, dude. What do we got? It's a nice walleye. It's a nice walleye, dude. Look at him. Holy cow. That other one's still down there looking at the dead stick. Come on. Look at that, dude. Wow. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Look at that dude, that other one is still down there looking at that dead stick. That is pretty crazy. I was fishing that one for a while. Just got in from fishing outside and was gonna make a hot dog real quick because it's all I got and wow dude, he absolutely, that is cool man. <laughs> Between watching them all on the live, the clear ice, watch this, no way. Is he gonna do it? He's all over that thing, dude. He just can't leave it alone. Look at that. Beautiful walleyes, man. We are catching them today. What a fun day. Doesn't get much better than that, does it? Catching them inside, outside. Got them running around on the camera. Still a fish down there right now chasing that dead stick. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of speechless. That all just went down so quick like that. Look at that, man. 
beautiful fish. It's gonna spook that other one when he goes back down probably. Wow, I'm shocked it didn't spook him. I can't believe that. I was fishing for that fish that's down there right now for forever, dude. And he just wouldn't hit the jig and then all of a sudden this, this one I caught just came flying off the bottom. We'll see, this one's still obviously down there. I don't know if he's gonna come over and commit. He's really hunting that dead stick hard. Come on, dude, do it. Eat it. Yeah, he just did it. He just ate it. He just ate it. Wow, dude, we're gonna get both those fish to go. Oh my goodness, dude. They're really coming through right now. Look at this. This is getting out of hand. I don't know what to do. We got another fish going here. This is crazy. Well, at some point we're gonna have to do something because I got one on the dead stick. My brat is burning here. All right, we're just gonna catch this one. It's always when you start cooking. Oh, we're tangled up. Gotta turn my turn my hot dog over, which is already burning. Got him. Feeling good. Feeling good, man. That drag's a little bit looser than I wanted it to be, but we'll get him. Wow, how about that? <laughs> we went from looking at that one on the graph, he just kept hunting around and hunting around, and he finally ate. That is crazy. That fish was hanging out down there for, you know, five, six minutes, I'll bet, by the time the whole thing was said and done. But he ate that sucker that was hanging on the dead stick. And this is what you can expect a lot of times when you're fishing these big spots like this. And you might sit there for a while, nothing, nothing, nothing. All of a sudden a wave of fish will come through and boom, 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 just like that. That is cool. Definitely worth deploying the dead stick, especially in the middle of the day, I would say, for sure. Wow, that's fun when it's like that, huh? <laughs> Let's do that again. Got him. That one just came flying in. Got a little lunchtime podcast going on. Didn't matter though. He came in real nice. Dude, these fish at the hole. Just going crazy. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, man. I mean, we are obviously having ourselves a day. I mean, we could sit here as long as we want and just keep catching them. That one's real dark colored on his back. Look at him. There we go. On the spoon take a second I guess and just kind of talk about adding this little spinner blade and kind of show you guys kind of what it does look at that another perfect walleye 18 inch right there angry little guy see you later dude back down he goes so when you think about ice fishing you're pretty limited on what you can do because obviously you're just fishing through a hole so a lot of times especially in clear water like this everything's very visual visual is how you get a fish to come under you might one naturally just swim right under your hole and come up and bite absolutely obviously but the more i can kind of draw fish into me from a distance and then that's one thing give them a little flash or something like that the other big thing is when they those fish get up on you that one would have bit regardless of what happened but a lot of times what you'll see ice fish is those fish will kind of creep up to you and they'll just kind of sit there they don't want the spoon like yanked hard most of the time and they don't want it just sitting still they want some just small movement so if you're doing that small movement a lot of times if you're just fishing a plain spoon it looks very dull right very unenticing but if you take something like this and put just that little spinner blade on the back of that it'll almost liven up that whole back end and i'll kind of just take out my phone here because mitchell has all the other cameras and we'll just kind of take a video of kind of what this does and you'll kind of see as you're sitting there bouncing it it'll be totally different than it adds just a super nice flare to the bottom of that thing so, so you could see that's the motion i'll make a lot of times as i'm trying to get a fish to bite and you could see how that little spinner blade on there is just kind of dancing and swinging around. And a lot of times that's all you need to kind of convince some of those fish that maybe come in a little bit slower to bite. They don't like this as much, although obviously you could see that whole spoon flashing and flaring down there with that spinner blade on there. But when those fish get up on you like that and you just go to this hard pounding, that little willow leaf blade on there is a lot of times kind of enough to get a bite. 
And if we kind of take a look here, basically normally the way I like to do it, which I've had the best luck doing, is if I attach a split ring, an additional split ring to it, to attach it like this right here. Now it's not on this split ring, because then it doesn't move as much and flare as much. So I'll attach an additional split ring to the bait like that with just that little willow blade on there. And you can order these, these tiny willow blades from like uh, online tackle stores most of the time. Or like a, a lure parts online type of deal, but pretty simple presentation really. I don't even know what to say. Caught an absolute pile of fish. It's about four o'clock right now. We could easily stay into that nighttime window and probably see it just really ramp up. No way half the fish that I've caught probably make this video caught an absolute pile today. But I think we're gonna load stuff up get back to the truck, close it out there. Been on the road for quite a while now. And I feel like I need a shower and a sleep in my own bed. So before we leave and do it again. So hold on, we're gonna break it all down. It's super windy and cold out right now. Hook up to the skidoo and uh, roll. All right, another adventure comes to an end. Appreciate you guys watching, super fun day. Sun's going down in about 45 minutes and I'm sure we could have stayed and caught a whole bunch more, but um, we're getting tired on the road. It's been, uh, it's been an awesome ice season so far, caught a lot of fish. Probably what you guys don't see in most of these videos is like how long we've been checking ice for a lot of places and that's kind of been the grueling part of this year. But got to be safe if you're going to do it you got to check the ice obviously so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one caught an absolute ton of fish um jigging pretty much all jigging i think i caught a fish or two on a dead stick so any day i can jig them all we'll do that we'll definitely get you guys more underwater footage in the future hopefully you guys enjoyed a lot of the sonar mega live content all that kind of stuff but i don't know what else to say we're going to get some gas we're going to point the truck towards home spend a day at home editing reorganizing cleaning up some equipment recharging then maybe we'll get the lovely shelby out on the ice and film something this weekend so appreciate you guys watching this one if you guys are not yet please subscribe stay tuned for more content we'll see you next time